Hey, how are you? You always catch me in the kitchen. I would love to share with you this concept about how vitamin C boosts your immunity. It's actually very, very true. So if you're fighting off a cold or something, which I'm not, but actually I'm speaking from past experience, if you have like symptoms of you feel weak or you feel under the weather and Lord knows that there's plenty of that going around, right? Over the, the past few years, I highly recommend either having it delivered or somehow get your relative to go get you some citrus. Oranges, lemons, yes. Cheers to you on this lovely Saturday evening. Thank the great spirit above for vitamin C. And don't forget, like you might think, oh, I don't take vitamins, I don't need that. If you actually tune in to what the fruits have to offer, which is plenty of vitamin C and nutrients to build your immune system. Because you may not know this, but if you have a strong immune system and you come in contact with somebody with COVID, for instance, or a flu or a virus, let's say the droplets go flying through the air. If you have a very strong immune system, you can actually not contract whatever virus or flu that that is your system, your system, your body can repel whatever it is that you come in contact with. And if you've been running yourself down and you happen to contract like a virus or a flu or get the cold, you can fight it off with fresh fruits. Now it might be a battle. I guarantee you that if you get fresh lemon, fresh oranges, honey, uh, what else? Uh, a lot of purified water and steam. So a lot of people don't know this. If you're actually like have a cough, you can actually fight a cough with steam. You can get all natural lozenges. I'm giving you like all the remedies to like save your life. And you can have a lot of broth. You could eat a lot of broth. If you don't eat meat, you could put potatoes and carrots and fresh vegetables. I've actually been wanting to share this for a long time. So hopefully you're not sick, but if you are, I see a lot of people suffering in public and I so want to just, like I actually do, I'll like, I carry cough drops. I don't have a cough. They're really good for your throat, especially in the desert. When I see somebody suffering, I'll hand them a cough drop. I keep them on me in my purse or my backpack or whatever. So you got the fresh broth, you got the fresh vegetables, you got soft Kleenex without the scent on them. I highly recommend getting the Kleenex that don't have the scent. You got a lot of fresh lemon that you squeeze into your water. You have and hopefully you're not drinking tap water because that will probably make you worse. That's probably how you may have got sick in the first place. I drink uh, purified water. I don't drink spring water. Spring water is basically toilet water, just bottled. And then you pay for that. 
So you're drinking water out of a spring. So just imagine how many animals are there that are, you know, pretty much dirtying up, you know, feces and pee in the water. So spring water is like, you might as well just go drink toilet water. So you may not know that. If you drink purified water, it's been thoroughly processed. All the minerals are still left in there. So you could squeeze the lemon in the water. Pearly white filtered honey. That sounds great. Yes, you could put honey to soothe your throat. There's so many things. A lot of people die from viruses and flu because they neglect themselves. They say, oh, just let it run its course. Actually though, it's a total battle. It's a total battle. You have to fight hard to get rid of any kind of illness. You really have to get rest. You have to get a lot of rest and you have to take a lot of hot baths because it loosens up the congestion and you must get steam. So some people are suffering with a dry cough. They end up, it ends up turning into like COPD or, you know, all kinds of lung disease because they, they just say, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And then it's too late. So you must get steam. I have a feeling there's a few people who are like sick who are watching this. You must spend the extra money on yourself. You must get the fresh fruits. And when you're like sick and run down, like the less meat you eat is best. Chicken is good, especially broth. So if you're craving like steak, instead you can make a pot roast and you could drink the hot broth. You could put habanero pepper. Even if you don't eat spice, you should try to get rid of the congestion with spice. So I put like, uh, all kinds of peppers, you know, the fresh peppers, they, they come in all colors and sizes. And I put them in my pot roast. I put them in my soup. Also ginger, so fresh ginger root. And I've, I've actually made these in my playlist, Cooking with Corinne. I've made uh, chicken soup a few times. See, I don't make just a basic chicken soup. I put very hot peppers in there and in my pot roast. I've actually made a couple pot roasts over the past couple months and I didn't share with you my pot roast. So the next time I do a pot roast, I'm going to cook it for you in my Cooking with Corinne show. So it's funny because I'm the little health angel. Whenever I see somebody suffering on one of the social media platforms, I'll like tell them, did you get lemon? And are you putting it in your water? Or are you putting peppers in your food? Are you taking hot baths? Are you, did you know that you could actually fill this, fill the sink with hot, super hot water and eucalyptus oil? So this video is very important. I'm going to make sure I title it and put the tag words so people can find this. Eucalyptus oil. You put it in your bathtub. You could turn, if you're having a cough attack, you could pour your, in your basin of really hot water, like your sink. You can put a few drops of eucalyptus or peppermint oil, uh, a little bit of lavender, some geranium, all kinds of oils, but mainly eucalyptus for the lungs and the breathing. And you could breathe in that steam. You could just run the hot water in the sink and absorb the steam. So those are all the ways you can build your immune system. So alcohol actually kills your immune system, any kind of medications, anything whatsoever that's not healthy, it kills your immune system. So it, it, to replace that, Fresh juices, not from concentrate, low on sugar, just really fresh juices, 
purified water. Yeah, I'm repeating myself because a lot of people don't know this. Nobody told them. They're suffering. Shoot, you may be dying right now. And you may see this video and be like, Mom, go get me lemon and eucalyptus oil and grapeseed oil. Pour that in your tub. Coconut oil. Rub it on your chest. Stand over the sink. Breathe in the steam. Cough it up. Get in the bathtub. Steam out all of that stuff. And actually, I have a few family members who are very needing this information right now. So hopefully they're watching. And thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be, see, I'm not one. I know it's Saturday night and I'm single and I'm successful and I'm good looking, right? And I got a nice wardrobe. I can pretty much afford to do whatever I want. I can do anything I want. Just over the past decade, I pretty much have had to tell my friends, hey, I'm like more into staying home. I'd rather like, read about real estate and see what my next investment is and go live in that for a few years and then have a huge capital gain and then do that so many times that I don't even have to work anymore. So that's like my thing. Um, I've never been married. I'm thinking maybe one day I will sometime in the future. I don't know, maybe not. It just, it's whatever is in the destiny for me. But I'm not into like partying. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. Uh, occasionally I'll have a beer if it's with friends, but I really don't go out anymore even to do that. I love taking care of myself. I love fresh fruit. Like I had groceries delivered today and I had nectarines delivered and bananas the one thing i don't like about grocery delivery is i can't pick thank you oh that's so cute thanks for your compliments everybody i can't pick the fruit out myself so i'm kind of like compromised with that a little bit uh as far as the grocery delivery, but most of the time I go pick out everything myself. I like to pick out my own. I'm really good at picking out awesome fruit. Like for instance, these wouldn't have been my choice at all because that looks like an apple, like a yellow apple with red in it. That, that doesn't even look like a nectarine, but they might be actually surprisingly sweet so i'll have to like let you know i'll report back on that and these bananas that he brought they're like all bruised and he probably banged them up so yeah yeah i'll be getting like a credit for that actually <laughs> so thank you i love you and take care of yourself you only have one body you only have one mind so just make it the best that you can. Make it your best. Thank you. Not everybody is like me. There's people right now that are getting annihilated at Saturday night. I guess that's the thing to do. I've already gotten in touch with that. You're not gonna meet anybody like of substantial quality like that by going to nightclubs. I mean, you will. Like occasionally you might meet contacts. Maybe they're in the same business as you and you can make contacts. And the chances of you meeting your future spouse, you could. I'm not saying you can't, but if that's your scene, then you probably will. Because we attract what we are and what we do. So you might meet somebody who's doing the same things you are. That's cool. Me, I meet other people like realtors and lenders and I'm just a book geek, you know, I'm just totally into my studies. Have a good evening. Whatever it is you're doing this Saturday night, remember to build your immune system because you could be walking by in the market and somebody could sneeze right on you. And if you have no mask on, I don't think that's going to help anyway. But if you're totally exposed, somebody like sneezes on you, and your immune system is ironclad, 
It is your defense system. You literally probably won't conceive whatever it is that that person had. And if you're run down, if you're not getting enough sleep and you're not paying attention, the antelope in medicine cards teaches us that if we keep running ourselves down into the ground, that we might end up six feet under. So keep that in mind, take naps, take breaks, get up from your desk, go take those breaks. Like nine to five workers, they actually, it's like a law literally from the government that workers that are getting paid, that you have to tell them that they have to take their break. They have to take that break um, and take that lunch break. There's like a bylaw, like every couple hours, they have to take like every hour and a half or something, 15 minutes, and every three hours, a lunch. Now, what those workers decide to do on their break is their own responsibility. Like if you're going and smoking cigarettes on your break, running your immune system down to the ground, okay? If you're like going to run errands on your break, you're running yourself ragged. You literally need to like go sit down and do nothing. Like go to your car if it's safe or go into the park or wherever your break room is, wherever there's fresh air. You need fresh air. You need to be able to like go into your alpha state, your theta where you're relaxed and then go back to work. But if you're like running around and then running around and then running around and running around, maybe one day you're not going to be able to even run at all. Think about that. That's powerful. So I'm really into taking breaks. I hope this video helps you. I'm your Saturday night health guru. I'm not your typical LA girl because I was born in Los Angeles and raised in Los Angeles. I'm not your typical LA girl, trust me. I'm a very self, I, I'm into self-care. As a matter of fact, I wrote a book, The Path to Self-Care, and that's on Amazon. I'm glad that came up because, hey, I should be promoting my book. I think anybody that reads it will get a lot of benefit. If you want to have nice skin and be healthy and happy like me, I'm not going to tell you my age, but you probably wouldn't believe me even if I told you. And hey... Tomorrow is my cat's birthday, so please stay tuned. I have some surprises for her, and I think she's kind of uh, pretty, like, sad in a way because I, t I reminded her it's her birthday, and she knows that word because I sing to her, or we, whoever's with me at the time, every single year. She'll be 15. I've had her since she's five months old. Last night, she was running around like a two-year-old kitten. It was wild. So I think she's a little sad because she thought like maybe I didn't sing to her because I mentioned that word. And they have, animals have like a chronological clock too. Like they know what's up. So she knows it's her birthday, but it'll be tomorrow, I told her. Tomorrow is the celebration. So I'm gonna bring you in. Thanks for watching. Mwah! And I love you very much. And take care of number one, self. Love you.